Oh, hello everyone and welcome back. Oh, hello. It's uh, the 21st of December, Ben. It is. I opened another door on my my lovely Lego Star oh, Wars advent course. calendar. You got me. How's how's that going? It's going really well, actually. I have to say, like, it's mostly awesome. Like, just getting like a little Millennium Falcon to build or like. Um, a little Y-Wing is cool, but occasionally it's weird. <laughs> well, when you, you've got to come up with 25 ideas, and so obviously you've got a Lego, you've got a, you've got a bunch of things, right? You've got a Lego, yeah. a Millennium Falcon, sure. Yeah, Millennium, sure. A little Lego Death Star. Yeah. Okay, a little Lego well, lightsaber. I wish there was a Lego Death Star. Oh, my God. Well, maybe that's what Christmas Day is, right? Yeah. I haven't had one yet. Well, I mean, if I was putting them in, ch in like the best days, I would have put the, the, the Death Star probably on Christmas Day, right? A little Lego yeah. Death Star? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Would it just be a ball? Because they're, they're really small. They're like this big. It'll be a ball, but it will have those four little bobbles on top. <laughs> right. Do you know what I mean? It'll have, it'll have the, the Lego bit on top. Yeah. I don't know, for you to stick something on there. So you can stand just like the Emperor on it. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's exactly what you would do, yeah. Or a Darth Vader. Yeah. Um, or, I don't know, maybe like another Death Star just stuck to the top. No, but it'll have... I reckon it'll be a Lego. Yeah, I, I reckon there already is a thing. A, a mini be. Lego Death Star, and it's 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 cute and it's tiny and it's and it's um, mini mini a mini de a mini Death Star. So let me show you the best and worst of the kind of like this. Lego I was thinking kind of like this. Oh, that's super cute. Only. This, it's round on the sides. It's just got four on the top. Of oh, no other pegs. And then it's got like a, 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 the four on the bottom are attached to like a little stand <laughs> that has a four bottom, the four way clip. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So you can have it clipped into the floor. It is hard to do round things with Lego, isn't it? Show me the worst of the Lego stuff. Um, uh, is it like this, Ben? Is it like this kind of Star Wars? Oh, that, that's kind of cool. That's like. Yeah, it's a bit lame, actually. It, it is a little bit I lame. I like the concept, but it just needs a bit more detail, doesn't it? It's not enough, is it? It's mm. it's it's too little there. So this is, sorry, for those who don't know, Ben, I bought him a Lego Star Wars Advent Canada, and he's been opening it every day with Babby, or just on your own. Uh, I don't know, is it well, your, now been, yours? We've been you, splitting it. So um, okay. sometimes I do it with Babby, um, and he plays with the spaceship. And then sometimes um, after dinner, Lisa and I will do it, but we'll do the... The thing where one person has the instructions and the other person has the bricks, and you're not allowed to look. I can't see what bricks she's got. She can't look at my instructions, and right. I have to like. So it's explain. like bomb game. Yeah, it's like bomb game basically. Yeah. <laughs> and you end up having weird conversations, like get the little lantern and slot it on the on the button. That's cool. Um, it's, it's like it's. I don't surprisingly hard. I to assume explain. they're more like Christmas cracker kind of size Lego things. Yeah, they're like an inch and about an inch big. Um, so here we go. If you show my screen. This is what we're talking about. Like, this is the Millennium Falcon, well, from the underneath, weirdly enough. Um, so it's all really fiddly little Lego bits. Oh, right. Um, you get some, some mans. Yeah, this was the worst one. What is that? It's just, a, it's just a fucking toolbox. Like, what the hell is this? Oh, how did that get in there? I don't know. It's not even like a Star Wars toolbox. It's literally just a bucket with a spanner in it. Well, there's so many ads on this page. The Nerdist. That it's it just keeps flicking back up to the top. Obnoxious. Incredibly annoying. Um, so yeah, that. <laughs> Star Wars toolbox sucks. There's bound to be um, some bad ones in there, right? The, but the worst one. What? Oh, okay. Fuck you, nerd list. Like, it just keeps flicking me to the top of the page. Nerd list. <laughs> <laughs> it's nerdist. The nerdist. They have a podcast and stuff. They're quite a big deal. Well, their web shite so should to stop to it. being a web shite and flicking me to the top of the page every three seconds. I'm trying to show people yeah, Lego. Fuck you, guys. Fuck you. Ads. Oh, here we go. Look. Maybe if you were running Adblock, you wouldn't have this problem, Ben. Well, it's because I'm logged in on a... Um, I've gone incognito, so I can log into like my email and my Humble account and stuff. And I don't, I don't want to forget that I logged it in. I'm a big fan of Nerdist, actually, the podcast. Yeah, I've never, yeah, I've never heard of it. To it. Um, it's good. They're smart guys. Here we go. So this guy, no good. You don't want to spoil this the, the, spoil the days you haven't opened No, yet. exactly. Well, they're, they're not spoiling it, see? Oh, they're not spoiling it. They're being nice. good boys. So that, what's that, what, which one was today? Imperial Ground Crew. Imperial Ground Crew. That doesn't seem like a fun one to so do So this guy, wife. he was a bit boring to open up. I was like, stuff. I didn't, but the thing is, the calendar doesn't tell you what they are. It's just, it's just instructions. There's no mm -hmm. words. So I was like, who's this? Is it the Emperor with a spanner? Like, what, oh, what's going on? Like, I didn't... You didn't, didn't even know I it was didn't Uncast recognize Thug. Him. No. <laughs> you were wondering who it was. I had to Google it <laughs> to find out who it was. Right. Um... Which is a bit of a shame. But this is cool. Raise, raise land speed. Oh, that's really cool. That's it's really cleverly nice, done. Isn't it? 
It's really clever how they've done like miniature versions of stuff with Lego. Like um, they got so many pieces to pick out. from now. Weapon that again, that's rubbish, isn't it? Um, but yeah, the snowtrooper, the stormtrooper, he's cool. He's bald, like Pyrian yeah. Flex. Oh, that's why he's so angry. It's Pyrian Flex, the stormtrooper. <laughs> that's who, literally who you've got. Um, I guess all Lego men are bald, right? Until they get until their they hair. get their hair clipped on. But you have got to take your hair off to put your helmet on. That's the rule. So this, this is the lowest. The lowest snow it's machine. It's a fucking snowblower. I mean, it feels like what they've got is they've thought up. They've then right. We're gonna do a Lego advent calendar, right? Let's mm -hmm. pick five cool vehicles. Let's pick like five minifigs. Mm -hmm. Let's pick five spaceships or something. And let's pick five like Christmas items. <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> and so no, I guess so. They're like weapons crate. Packing crate. And so I think the idea is that you end up making a scene, I guess, right? Oh, like the Star Wars nativity. Yeah. We'll have Shmi Skywalker getting immaculately, immaculately concepted mm -hmm. with Anakin Skywalker. It's a Christmas miracle. Is Shmi Skywalker the one, the mum? The mum. The mum. was like, there wasn't a father. Ooh. Um, yeah, because... It, yeah, do you remember that famous scene in um, Return of the Jedi where the Emperor is like, Clearing his driveway with the snow machine. Mm. <laughs> it might be a deleted scene. <laughs> it's a special edition. They stuck it in the special edition. <laughs> this awful CGI snowblower comes all in front of the camera. That's that, that's right. They put that in for the special edition <laughs> when they yeah. were doing the prequels. Oh my god. Um, uh, yeah. Well, there you this go. Guy, he's cool. He's like the guy who oh. fires the Death Star with his big helmet. Oh, that guy with the weird helmet. Yeah, do you remember him? No. He shot. He was like. They were like, fire the Death Star. And he was like, Pew! Did he pull a lever? He fucking did it. Well, yeah. here's the thing about Star Wars that you should know. Like, Hit me up, man. Every millisecond has been overanalyzed to the point that oh, yeah. every character is known. But you know the guy who fires the Death Star? Mm -hmm. There is a book about him. And I mean, like the guilt he feels for being the man who pushed the button to blow up a planet. A whole book. <laughs> Just about that one guy who's in it for two seconds. It's madness. That, that's the part of the problem, isn't it? Like <laughs> That people have poured over this source material like it's the Bible or something. They can yeah. go very deep into it, you know. Oh, my God. I wonder how... I mean, nothing compared to the Bible. I mean, the Bible is... is, 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 is Iconic, but you know but the Bible is also is, a, a fantasy but story. But Star Wars is, but is, it hasn't got lightsabers, has it? No, it makes it very. It's boring. got a guy who uses the Force. It I used guess. to be pretty exciting, though, like the Bible. You know, like um, you know, spoilers. Um, <laughs> someone forgot <laughs> someone else. <laughs> they sure did. Uh, no, but in in the day, like the Bible, it was full of. You know, so much begatting. killing and raping oh, yeah, and all the sorts Old of stuff. It was like proper stamps. fire and brimstone. You know, it was it was good. It was like the Game of Thrones of its day. <laughs> I guess you know, it was. Everyone was <laughs> everyone was fucking and talking fighting about when's and... the latest book coming out. When's the latest Old Testament book coming out? That last one was very good. <laughs> yeah. You know, when's oh, God going to get around to it? The to disappointing write the next sequel. One? I hope God writes all the rest of this before he. Could you imagine all the Old Testament fanboys who kept like were really waiting for like part two? Yeah. And then the New Testament came out, and they were like, "This isn't my Bible." It's like the prequels. You... Oh, Jesus <laughs> has ruined the Bible. <laughs> And then they tried they to get back quit. right at the end. They were like, you know, they tried to come back, but no. So does that make the Gospels? Does that make Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John the Phantom Menace, the Attack of the Clones? Yeah, the, the Apostles are basically the Gungans, right? Yeah, I think so. They just um, ruined the whole vibe, which makes um, <clears throat> Jesus Anakin. George or Jesus. Uh, so <laughs> we're, we're back, everyone. Um, we're back to uh, this stupid fucking stream we do <laughs> yeah. every day over Christmas. <laughs> oh my God, have you, have you just run out of, of stocking filler joy? No, I'm loving it, Ben. It's great. <laughs> let's, um, let's, let's have a look at the bundle game, Steve, yeah? and see um, what, what, what what's on our, what our, is our bundle today. Well, for a start, uh, the gen generous people of... Uh, this isn't updated, is it, Steve? Steve, this needs to be updated. All right. What he needs to make a new one. The original file for this document well, you just need to is, put is some being deleted. On, don't you? Like, just Steve, just do the red, just do the rest in MS Paint. You can handle it. Just yeah, scroll it. Use freehand tool on Paint. Um, so what did you do yesterday? Did you play any of them yesterday? Or was it just your top wallets? Yeah, I did. Um, you were with Xylus. It was Xylus. We only did an hour before yeah. Tuts came in, and we I played. Um, where is it? Sleepy sleepwalking puzzle game. 
forget what it was called. Back to Bed? Back to Bed. That was the one I played. What was it like? Um, it was cool. It was a bit like Monument Valley. Oh, cool. But you have to guide a sleepwalking man through an Escher, MC Escher dreamscape. Mm. He sleepwalks and you move and you put stuff in his way so he can find his way to bed. So, it was fun. I had a bit of a, a dream last night. Ooh. I had a nightmare uh, that... Well, actually, first of all, one of my friends was telling me about their nightmares. Mm -hmm. And they had a nightmare the other night about they woke up, right? Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, they, 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 were, they were in, they were in oh school. It's a dream within a dream. They, Is that it, what you're telling me? <laughs> you dreamt about someone telling you about their dream? Oh, it's madness. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, so my, fr my friend had a dream. Yeah. And she was in, um, in school, in mm. assembly. Right. And she had a balloon. That kept it was like a really strong balloon. It kept escaping and making a lot of noise. What like? No, it was like she was like grabbing it. It was making that balloony noise. Oh, the squeaky. Yeah, like, where yeah. she's trying to like hold it down from <laughs> escaping, and everyone's in the whole assembly yeah. is like giving her giving her grief and like looking at it. And she's like, oh, "I'm sorry, I'm sorry." And then like eventually, she's like, "I know what will stop it getting away. I'll let some of the air out." And of course, letting the air out of the balloon just makes it far. Yeah, it makes it even more noise. So she considered that a nightmare. And I was like, you have some... If that's a nightmare, then, you know, you're fucking lucky. I think in real life, she just really needed to fart in her sleep. Mm -hmm. And that was... You know how, like, if you need to pee, you dream of waterfalls? Right. That's the fart equivalent. I see. I see. Escaping balloons. Has that ever happened to you? Have you ever sort of dreamed that you were, like, standing at the foot of a waterfall and just pissing I, into it, and then you woke up and... Covered in piss. Covered in piss. <laughs> Has that ever happened to you? The thing is, I very, very, very rarely remember my dreams. Right. Like, 99% of the time, I don't remember. Well, I <clears throat> sometimes do remember dreams in echoes, in fragments. And some. so, for example, I'll be like... I've got a couple of examples. So if, I, if I've been doing something a lot during that day, like reading a book or playing a specific puzzle game... Mm -hmm. Like, like I was playing that Magnum Have you Opus been dreaming of Magnum the other day. <laughs> I fell asleep and I was dreaming basically that there, there was a puzzle in Magnum yeah. Opus that I couldn't do. Yeah. And it was a, basically a nightmare. Mm -hmm. And I was just repeating it over and over and over. Like sometimes, you know, you go to sleep mm -hmm. and you have like a really, really nice dream. Like maybe, you know, you're spending time with Gal Gadot, you know, oh. and she's like, you know, Wonder Woman in it up. And it's it's good, right? And you're like, oh, I want to get back to that, <laughs> you know. And you roll over and you go back to sleep, and you're but you're back into the action, right? That's fine, sure. That's right? And you can just about hold on to those tendrils of where you were in the dream. <laughs> yeah. And sometimes it goes wrong, but mostly it's fine, right? <laughs> right. Um, but then the the other time is like when I, when I was playing this game, mm. it was frustrating because like I felt like I was like almost about to solve the puzzle, but not. And so I'd wake up and I'd think, oh, I can just if I just get back into it, I can solve this puzzle. But because it's in my head and I'm fucking stupid, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm never going to solve the puzzle because I don't know what the answer is. Mm. It's almost like I'm reading... Sometimes when I dream about reading, I've been reading this book or whatever. You guys, send us your messages, by the way, with your dreams. Oh, don't. Good or bad. Don't. What? Listening I, to people's keep it dreams short. One sentence. is the worst. One sentence, okay? Okay, we'll, one sentence. Yeah, I don't want to have a flipping novel to read, right? Like the, what I'm giving you now. Um, <laughs> anyway, sometimes like when I have a dream... Uh, sorry about this, if it's this right. is really boring you. I, I'm, I, I dream like... The, I'm, I'm I, I dream like I'm halfway through a book and I, I'm reading the book, yeah. okay? And because I don't really know what the book... The rest half... I obviously don't know what the rest of the half is the book. So half is me making up crap. And half of it is just weird, horrible, like sometimes when you see people with a dream and you don't, qu don't quite see their face, like they've mm -hmm. got no face. It's like that with the book. It's a nightmare, basically. But um, sometimes when I wake up the next day and I'm reading the book, mm. I'll sometimes get a little echo of the dream I had and think, Didn't, wasn't this supposed to happen? No, no, that was a dream. Wasn't, wasn't this yeah. thing that supposed to happen? And so sometimes you have to be quite careful because... Have you ever done that with a person where you're like, you think you've had a conversation with them? But well, I, I think, dream. but I think unconsciously, like if you've had a dream about someone and you've had an argument with them or something, you can still mm -hmm. be angry at them, even though you don't know why. Yeah, because they they annoyed you in a dream, but you don't remember that it was a dream. You just feel annoyed with them. Yes, I think memories and dreams are dangerous, and they're a funny thing, mm. and that's why meditation is is a good idea because it helps you clear your clear mind, your it mind. helps you wipe things. And different people have their own different ways of meditating. Some people like to just have a walk. They don't do anything. They don't listen to any music or podcasts. Just just walk and like. Hmm. Some people automatically kind of meditate, like when when they drive to 
work or something, you know, it's like be able to switch off. Mm. But yeah, like if you have a very busy life, you should take time out to like for yourself. That's my little tip for the day. Tips of the day with Lewis. Take a little no, no, take a little time out for yourself and just 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 think about your brain. So God, no, some some sometimes like I've had dreams and the next day they happen. Says uh, Arcane Lava. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, so yes, we're here. Um, we should play some of the games in the humblebundle.com slash yogscast jingle jam. Ben's just like, what the fuck is he talking about? No, I know what you're talking about. You do need to take time to clear your head. It's easy to get too wrapped up. It's easy if there's like, yeah, sometimes it feels like there's like bees, bees in my head. You've got to oh. get them out. God. Let the bees out. What a, what a stress. Like bee, bees in, it's like TTT, only <laughs> in there. In your brain. In your brain box. Sometimes you just need a server reset. So, would you want to do you want to do Cosmonautica because that was what you had installed? This I was morning. gonna I was gonna play Cosmonautica because it's in the bundle, and I remember playing it a few years ago. I think I played it, but I think I played it a much earlier version than what I saw you playing. Ah. I feel like I feel like the game's come a long way since. I don't know. Yeah, because I, I the version I played was early access, and this is like finished, so it's probably quite different. So. I mean, it looks like it's got a way better UI than when I played it. So look, I literally, this is a brand new file. Um, whoa, oh, shit, oh, stop. Oh, shit, I Did just put it on fast forward. We lost a day. Uh, start uh, again. Nah, we'll just start with one day off. So here we go, look, we're in like a Futurama style space station. This uh -huh. is our little space bucket. It's our boat, it's our ship. And then we're, this is the space station we're docked in. We need to buy some crew and some buildings, some facilities. We've got an engine. And we've got the bridge, and that's that's it so far. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm gonna buy um, uh, a bunk from a crew. The, the music crew. is very chill. In fact, the whole game is is super chill. I think we're gonna have the bunk upstairs. Um, you can change. So have you got your own little area of this space station? Uh, no, we're just docked in like the engineering bay, and we're paying some boys to put some. Um, Put some stuff on our ship. Uh, we need a uh, the body well fire and forget, which right. is a, a toilet. Ah, um, you just you, you dump your load, and I think we don't want that next to the bed. We want it like down here, right? Is the there? Does it the matter? Um, yeah, probably. Okay. Well, I mean, if, I'm, if, I'm if, if it starts anyway. leaking, you know, we don't want it to leak through everything. You know, we want it to leak just into the sump. Yeah, exactly. And if we're gonna do it like into an the bilge, plane, you know, like you let the you press the button, it goes. And it sucks all your poop into space. Yeah, I'm sure that's not going to be a problem. So that, that's one. And um, we need a snack box to feed our feed our peeps. Insta yay snack box. Um, should we put that next to the bedroom? Sure. Is uh, that is that going to mean that just space is full of poop? Yeah. Well, I mean, if the oceans are full of poop, then they, and space is like way less important than the oceans. Right. Oh, so, you know you, what I mean? so, you're, so you're saying that. Like if we're I mean, if you double... swim around in the ocean, you don't get covered in poop, even though there's a lot of poop in the ocean. Yeah. You're but saying if... that the same thing with this galaxy. Yeah, because space is like the ocean, but bigger and colder, right? Right. Well, but surely, like, just outside a space station, there will be a lot of poop. Also, isn't the way you that... want to get caught in the microgravity. Yeah, and it would all stick to the sides oh, and gross. cover everything in a fine, thin film of poop. Wow. The, the, space, the future of brown. Yeah, I think that is the... the the way it would work, right? Yeah, that's pretty gross. That well, what do they do at the moment in the space station? That must just go into space. I just guess right? they just don't go outside. Yeah, but they poop. What if they have to do like an EVA? Do you know what I mean? Out yeah. the airlock. And they're like, oh, the intake's covered in poop again. Hand me the poop spatula. And they have to like scrape it all off. Hmm, that's tricky. It's so the same thing know. with like Mars, right? So Mars dust is like really... The little particles on Mars are really like sharp and like asbestos, basically. Oh shit! So if you breathe Mars dust, right, fuck, it cuts your lungs to pieces. So you have to be really careful, like if you go out on the lunar surface, to not bring back loads of dust. Bring bring back the dust through the airlock. You have to like wash the suits and stuff oh, carefully. Oh shit! Didn't know that. Yeah, be careful. Next time I'm on the moon, I'll, uh, I'll have a wash. wash like out. it's basically like going to the swimming pool, right? You have to go in the shower. Yeah, because if you in. don't, you get. You bring all the dust Cut to in. pieces. <laughs> by the pool. <laughs> uh, oh, apparently, the toxic wasted says they shoot the poop down to Earth and it burns up in the atmosphere. Nice. I can accept that in my head cannon now. <laughs> yeah, I choose to believe it. So yeah, the toilet is built. There's only only fires when it's pointing towards Earth. 
Right. Or, it's coded. Or a star. It's just like, so you're, you're flying a spaceship around, mm -hmm. and then like, you know. Oh, the nav it, system detects. It, nav, it detects yeah, within, it's lined up with Earth, poop and it's like, can release poop now. <laughs> 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 it so you just need like a, a canister big enough to hold it until you reach. So if you're going on a deep space mission. I don't think you need a canister. What do you do with it? You can just squirt it, squirt it straight out. You know? What if you've pooped, but you're not near a planet? You could just use a compressed, compressed like, air blast or whatever to just blast it. And it will fire like a, just a... Off into deep space. Well, it'll probably freeze instantly anyway. True, it? but that doesn't make it okay, does it? Well, no, but it'll be like a frozen shit bullet. Yeah, exactly. That's also, gross. I don't think you need to send it until, like, there's a good amount of poop in it. Uh, yeah, but it that's what I'm saying. Like, you need it like could a, be like a week's worth. So, but that, you, you need a giant like cesspit box, don't you, to hold it? Well, so. you would need a box that's a reasonable size. Yeah. Let's. Yeah. 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 Mm. Now playing TTT or says Jaffa Mod. Jaffa Mod is Jaffa fucked. Mod. What is wrong with you? York Cinema. Yeah. It's. It's fine. Well, can, you, can we not have Jaffa Mod talking lies? Jaffa Mod lies all the time. Filthy bot. Doesn't fucking know what it's doing. Um, I, I want to buy cargo hold, but... Cy Melton. Oh, my gosh. Cy. Oh, used shit. to work here, Cy. He did used to work here. Congrats on another awesome jingle jam. Hope you're doing well, Cy. Oh, Thank thanks, you for si. the message. You see, you'll see Cy up front and centre in the highlights video from one of the previous years. Yeah. Because he's in the middle of the group when and we were like all the singing. Karaoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw him on there and I was like, oh, I miss Cy. He said he's, he's doing ages. all right. I heard he was working for... Is he working for Jagex? Jagex last time I heard, but who knows where he is now. Thank you, Cy. Well, he's, he's managed to donate to Jingle Jam, so he must be okay. He must be doing all right. Thank yeah. you, Cy. Um, Ampazor has donated. Love you. Um, suspicious Nick Cage uses domination on Lewis and Ben. Oh no! It's a success. Oh. They play XCOM instead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> suspicious Nick Cage wants to see how he's doing. I think he's he's doing. He's in XCOM. He's doing. Too, he's in he? XCOM too. He's doing all right. Can't do any spoilers. As, I guess. as of the latest episode, as of the latest he's episode, doing fine. He's doing fine. Um, cool. <laughs> uh, so 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 you're you're um, you're building a spaceship. I'm building a spaceship. Right? Right? I'm going to put. I want to put a gun on it. Is the um, idea to go out into the What does these blocks mean? Double increases the durability of this room. Ooh. Increases reload speed. Ooh. So is that okay. just... But are you buying new rooms? Well, I, what I want to do is put a gun on it. We need a gun in case we get attacked by space banditos. Mm -hmm. um, so do we want torpedoes, bullets, or rat attack grenades? You can choose. I don't know. I think we want bullets. Yeah. Um, Why not? Mostly harmless. Ammo depot required. Sure. How many spaces does it take up? I don't know. Oh my god! Look at the um, the missiles do a lot more damage, but yeah, but yeah, I guess they fire slower, right? The danger of missiles is that you run out of them, and they cost more to they cost a lot. Yeah, I think we're we're cheap, cheap space traders at the moment. Um, so what I do is I'll buy a um, an ammo room, and then um, where am I? Where are my guns at? Okay. Bullets. What? How do I? This is different for one. Oh, there's a slider. Right. Buy the bullets. And then. So you've bought bullets for your gun. I don't actually have a gun yet. This is the gun. Where can that go? Oh, apparently, it can only. Hmm. Can that go? It can only go in that room. In that room, apparently. Do I have to? Okay, so put the gun up there, and then we'll move. We'll move the ammo next to it. And that I guess we'll reasonable. sleep downstairs now instead. Next to the toilet. And we'll bring the snack machine. The snack machine doesn't go next to the toilet, though, right? We'll put it here, in between the cockpit. I don't know. I've lived in some grimy places in my time. You don't want to put your toilet next to your food. That's. It just that's is, is a thing that I've had to endure. I once um, I knew, this, such knew this person who. Um, had a storeroom mm -hmm. with the washing machine in it, right. but it also had a toilet in it. So it was like the washing machine, toilet, and where you store and all your food. Like, I think she left a lot of her clothes in there as well. Oh my god! I know it was just like a, a disaster. It was a disaster of a room. Just yeah. I'm gonna have some cargo as well. I'm gonna have cargo down down here. I lived um, when I used to live in student accommodation. It was a snack yeah. machine. Near to um, where you where you did your washing, right? 
like the basically room. in the laundry room, yeah. And it had like you know Kit Kats in there and Toffee Crisps and stuff. And man, I I lived off that that machine <laughs> for like a whole year. So they get you. Yeah, basically, was just playing playing games in my room. I'd get up. I I couldn't be asked to like walk to the shops or anything, get any actual food. I just bought. Kit Kats and Toffee Crisps. Man, that was a oh good year. God. I ate so many Toffee Crisps You're out animal. that snack machine. You're an animal. What a life that was. Oh boy. Right. Everyone's, everyone's got their stories, haven't they? <laughs> yeah. tell, tell us about your um, snack machine related stories here on Lewis and Ben. Uh, play talk, talk play bundle games and talk bollocks. Um, we're already I'm, I'm, I'm done. well into the stream. Are you ready to I launch? Built it. So what have you got so there? So I've gone for a turret, a machine gun turret. Um, with some ammo. Oh, it's, it's a bit like, like the Merlin oh, like Falcon. A, yeah, it is, isn't it? You get in the seat and you go... Pew, Except pew, it shoots pew, out the top. The there you go. Sweet. There you go. Um, we've got the cockpit with a snack machine. So It's got a little student, cock in it. Student Look. Brindley can it's got eat little cock bird. sandwiches all day long. Oh, that one. Yeah, that that's one. a bird and, and a... Well, that, don't let the bird see the snack machine. <laughs> <laughs> and then here we've got the crew quarters where our crew will sleep. Okay. Um, and work and rest and play. A bit grim. And then downstairs, we've got the luxury passenger seating. Mm -hmm. So we can, uh, we can take some passengers for nice. money. Nice. We've got cargo bays, two cargo bays for okay. putting um, valuable goods. Okay. And we've got a poop hole. With, with a calendar. A, with a lovely lady calendar. She is fully clothed in that yeah. calendar. Well, you know, it's space, man. It's also, you don't want any... Oh, don't put a sexy calendar in the toilet. That's going to encourage all sorts of shenanigans. Ooh. Isn't it? You don't want to give them material. Well, we don't want it in the shared bunk room either. Just don't do it. Like, just Well, it's space, Lewis. They have to do something. There's nothing else to do on this ship. Oh, yeah, we've got no entertainment. I can't afford it. <laughs> All right, fine, we'll keep it. We're just... It's going to make the, the, the poop bundle even more disgusting. <laughs> Maybe it'll just lube it up. So this is uh, the, the happy... Who the fuck is this? He's the happy guy. He sells, he sells stuff at this space station. We can buy some goods for him, from him. Um... So the yellow symbol means this is goods that they import, right. so they will give you a good price for them. Okay. And the blue one means this is goods that they produce here. Right. So obviously you don't. We want to buy the blue ones. Yeah. Because okay. they should be cheaper here than it. We can buy some poop bags. Let's do that. Let's be poop traders. <laughs> We've got enough poop as it is. No, let's do poop but traders. But who's going to want to buy poop? Someone will buy it. Let's. Some, somebody will eat poop and they'll use it. <laughs> There'll be an alien that eats poop. It's like ah, poop ah, in my mouth. Poop in here. It ah. must be that. It, it, why was that never a Star Trek episode? <laughs> That's what I want to know. The poop, poop eaters. But, but, no, no but Spark, but the aliens, they, they want us to poop in their mouths. Yes, Captain. <laughs> this is a common thing amongst their species. God damn it, Jim. I'm a doctor, not a scat <laughs> scatterfile. Good thing I picked up all those waste bags <laughs> for trading. Cheap from Vergon 12. Let's quickly deliver them. So this is uh, this place. Can I can still poop with their mouth, Captain? Sure you can, Spark. <laughs> Just go for it. Whatever floats your boat, <laughs> Spark. I'm a god man. <laughs> um, we need to hire what some, a fucking, what a thing, take some shoes crew. Off. Look at oh. this guy. She's a terrible cook. Is that, um, that? Oh my god, she's got one bar in cook. She looks awful. This guy, he's bad at cleaning. Oh, I think they're all going to be scrubs, aren't they? At everything. Oh, let's get off. Oh, hang, hang on. on. What, okay. what do we need? Hang on. What, right. what so do he's we need? our recruitment agency guy. Right. Robo, Robo Man finds the jobs. People. So basically, we can have two crew. Because so they've only got two beds. She's a pastafarian um, female. And then we've got. Sure. He's a alien. Um, a, a, a doesn't say. He's an alien atheist. He fights for the revival of Santa, Elvis, and the Chipmunks. Sure. Yeah, he seems like he likes bread. Right. Um, and is cleaning. Uh, he's preparing. Uh, we probably need someone who can repair, right? Born on an escape pod. He's an overeater. Oh, that, that seems bad. bad. Um, pilot. That that sounds good. She looks like a nice chap. Had to grow up without a proper name. Her name's mm -hmm. Rihanna. Rihanna Simon. Uses daydreams as favorite place to fart. That seems like that would... Let's get her. Sure. She seems good. She has she kinky piercings made of wood. What? So like surprisingly kinky piercings. Loves chlorophyll-based food. Great. So do we. Where yeah, she's a she vegetarian. Plants, she's and she can fly the ship, which is kind of important. Badly. So but we need someone who can We need can someone that. who can fly the ship. Um, the bird. The bird says, good job. The bird has, has let bird, us know bird that approves. he is... Um, he wants us to go find some money. Sure, bird. 
You got it. A local um, overlord donates a piece of his art collection, a stage prop for a movie, some smuggler guy frozen in carbonite. Hmm, I wonder who that's going to be. <laughs> the cargo will be transferred directly to ship, delivered to Hollow Mov Studios on Swoin. The reward is exceptional. We should accept that. Yeah, I'll take the um, the haul, hauling, hauler notes. So all we need is uh, the all we need is Rihanna, right? Do we need anyone else? Um, well, do we? Oh look, this guy's level two. Oh, He's a right. Kirk. We don't need a Kirk. What's Angelina Toth? Uh, a medic. A medic. Don't need that. Don't really need a medic yet. I feel like we need like a janitor, right? Someone who's either going to repair or clean the ship. I reckon he looks like he's going to lick poop off stuff. <laughs> well, this guy. <laughs> I mean, he would love it, but I think this guy would actually use it for nourishment. Okay. Should we go for the cleaner? This yeah. Guy? Fuck it. Swamrath. Zamrath. Zam. Zamwath. Zamwath. Sure. Welcome aboard. Sounds like a fucking donator, doesn't he? <laughs> Thank you, Zamwath. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Rihanna <laughs> Simon. <laughs> um, <laughs> how do I take the job? I've kind of forgotten. There's other jobs we can take as well. Right. Oh, so Swoin, um, there you go. We could... Uh, oh, we're already going to Swoin, we're already going we? to Swoin. Oh, let's do this job as well then. What do they want? Obtain and deliver units of tools. Of tools. You got it. Um, okay, any others that are going to Swoin? Uh, no. No. Okay. So, can we? have we got room for 34 units of tools? Let's find out. Oh, do we need to build another cargo bay? Tools. tools. Um, oh, he's only got... No cargo to sell, he's only importing tools. Why can we, we only buy one? Because he's only using importing tools, look. But it says he's got seven. Uh, no, I think that means how many it will take. Oh, they're 2,000 each? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, right. They're uh, way too expensive here. Okay, we need to find some tools on the way to Swoin. Oh, shit. Okay. That are cheap. Should have thought ahead. Oh, well. They're going cheap, 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 cheap. Cheap, uh, cheap, cheap. Uh, <laughs> going give, cheap. Give this guy going time? to Swoin. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Oh, okay. So we can um, we can set their shift patterns. So they're basically they're both awake at the same time, and they go to sleep at the same time. This means we could, um, I guess, we could like hot hot bed them so they share the bed and work like alternate shift patterns. Right. So they never have to see each other. Yeah, and they have to sleep in the same farty bed. So otherwise, they'll distract each other. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. I think I think we're good to go, right? Yeah. I think. Fuck it. We we, we just get we've then? spent a lot of money. Yeah. But if we go to Swoin... There's Swoin here. Oh, it's on the sort of way to Hostia, isn't it? So oh, no, Hostia's here. over there. Um, is there another, like, starport on the way where we can try and buy some tools? I think we need to just get the money from Swoin from doing the quest, and then we could consider oh, it going... It feels, like, inefficient, though, doesn't it? I know, but we're never going to get... I mean, even, even 32 tools, that would have cost us, like, 30,000. Look, this, so this, this place 000. has tools. Let's just go there and see... Well, hang on. There might be quests to go to Hostia. I saw that there were quests to go to Hostia. Oh, okay. Um, which one is it? This one. Yeah. Uh, there you go. One. Five units of medicine to Hostia. Can we get five units of medicine before we go to Hostia? Nope. No. Really expensive. Fuck. All right. Don't worry about it then. Okay. All right. Let's go... Let's go to Swine then. Sure. And... Go! Where's our little ship? Up uh, to the left. Oh. Here we go! Dun, what dun, we dun, called? Dun, dun. Oh, do we want to rename it? The Thunderman. Thunderman, we should have renamed it. Can oh, we rename it? When we next get to a star oh, point, crap, we'll have to paint it over there. So what are our boys up to? He's hanging out. She's driving the ship. Like this. She's pulling the lever. He's telling himself jokes in the bedroom. He's keeping himself happy. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Sure. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, this is very pleasant. We should have picked up some passengers and cargo and stuff. Oh, we should have done. What's this? I don't know. That must, be our, that must be our cargo. Oh, that's that's the man in carbonite that we're delivering. Ah. Uh, so, right, once we get, look, this is our first, like, we've got to check that the, the whole integrity is all fine and stuff, you know, and that we yeah. can make it. Once we get there. It's like the, the test run ship. Yeah, yeah, it is. Should we go fast speed? Go? Oh, he's getting a snack. Nom, nom, nom. Uh, yeah, it's, it's great. Thanks, man. Um, he's telling me to look around the ship. Sure. Keep an eye on the condition. Uh, sure. Thanks. All okay. right. Let's look, he's mopping up. Cool. He's well, taking a dump. This is taking ages. He's eating some fucking burgers. She's taking a break. Are they happy? They look they're... happy, don't they? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, this is happening very fast. Can yeah, you, they put it on fast forward. Can you slow it back down to like normal? Uh, no. 
Yeah, just are we some donations? You see, we'll get there. We'll get there. Okay. I reckon we should play this in real time. Well, I mean, we'll never finish, right? We'll, we'll never get anywhere in real time. Well, don't say that. We just need to get a chief and then we're done. <laughs> uh, Liam Johnson, sup boys from Aotearoa. I, th Aeo Aeo I think that's um, New Zealand, isn't it? New Zealand. I don't uh, know how to pronounce maybe? that. You see that word? I don't know how to spell that. Pronounce that either. Aotearoa. Aotearoa. I can't remember how to pronounce that. If someone could send me that phonetic, that would be helpful. Um, thank you, Liam Johnson. Thank you, Sam. Sam. Thank you, Sam. Thank uh, you, Sam. It's not Sam. It's a different Sam. Oh. I think. Pooh Extrand says, Trot's not hot. Oh. That's not true. Trot, not is, true. Trot is a very spicy meatball. Yeah. Have you seen the calendar? I have. It's very good. Uh, did you just... Someone is just on fire. Does it say he was on fire? Did it? I didn't see that. Zamraith. Zamraith. He's on fire. What? Oh, I think that means he's happy. Uh, I'm on fire. Right. He's not actually... His sex is on fire. He's not actually burning himself to death. No. He's happy. And she's happy. They're both happy. They like our little um, poop. Poop. Ship ship. with a little snack machine. We've done a we've done a thing. So we got him. We're at Swine. Swine. Um, the Zanga Droids, one of the oldest members of the religious con convent, live on Swine. Their philosophy of life is Hakuna Matata. Oh, that's nice. I it can means be on board of the religion no like sorrows that. Yeah. for the rest of your days. days. Hakuna it, Matata. It's their problem-free philosophy. Uh, so they make books here. They import paper. Oh, we should have bought paper from the paper planet and imported it for them. Good sense. Shit. Well, we can take the books. Actually, let's, let's have a look at... Uh, hot, they hot. don't have tools or medicine. Let's have a look at what's the place where we're going, uh, potentially. Well, we're here. Oh, this is the... Uh, right. These are new jobs. We can't get medicine here. Well, we, what are the other jobs options? How do, how do we cash in the job we did have? Well, it's done, I think. I think it's it? just done, yeah. Oh, yeah, look, we got 10 grand. Yeah, You're right. You skipped through it. You're totally, I skipped it. Oops. What are the okay, traits sorry. of this planet, just FYI? So, planet is... Um, they have an artist guild, which is why they produce books and art. Right. Um, but and they import booze and paper. Okay. That makes sense. Booze. Um, is that ink? They they import is water. That ink or booze. It's wine. wine. They, yeah, the artists need wine. Right. It's like a and paper. Okay. Yeah. They make wood out of pa wood. water and wood chipping. And seeds. Earth seeds, right? Um, so I guess they grow trees. And they make it. ships too. So yeah. They so they iron, iron and tools. And tools. Okay. So what are our quests? Uh, I love the I love the blue screen in the background. By the way, of that, <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you, you saw the that. billboard. Like yeah, uh, oh, there, there you go. It is, there it is. Yeah, it's such a good like classic, isn't it? It's such a good little joke. <laughs> I love that. Um, uh, so jobs available down at the uh, the cantina. Man, I really want to play this game now. I fucking you into I'm, it? I'm really into this. This is my kind of thing to just. Just be a stock space, up on trading. And this is the classic game that I used to play. So what else we got? Okay, we can't, we can't medicine. buy medicine. We can't get medicine. Um, uh, he's got to... For, he wants to go kill, kill someone. someone. We're not really very good at that, probably. Probably not. Um, uh, deliver nine irons. Oh, we won't get iron can't here. Can't get iron here. It's too expensive. Um, and this guy wants us to get 30 units of textiles. I oh, haven't seen any of that. To Hainuba. Right, we don't, don't really want to do any of them. Hmm... Okay, so... Well, look, who, who, is there anyone nearby who wants to buy books or wood? What do you think? Should we have a little look? What's this? Yeah. They, these people um, export waste and they want water, medicine and batteries, so this is no good. Um, they want a they, lot of medicine. They want medicine for two reasons. They want it for the population and for the medical centre. Yeah, they want double medicine. Um, these boys, Hoster, also... Everyone's importing metal and tools. We might have to go further away then. Yeah, they've got an artist guild here too. That's no good. No good. Um, What's out in the outer rim? I don't think we can get to the outer rim yet. We need like Frolic. Um, they want medicine. They are given. Oh, they've got textiles here. Okay. So we can head there and buy the textiles. Yeah. Um, and where What's do we the other building that they want? Sorry. What's well, the other um, building that they've got? Back up here. And then scroll down. Robot meter. Oh, they make robots. Right, okay, go back to the other one nearby. It's, they make seeds. Oh, that's where the seeds come from. Right, scroll down. Right, and they make a lot of waste. Yeah. Does anyone want waste? Uh, I think we should be waste. Uh, waste you want to be poop traders? Waste boys. 
And what about the place where we started? Do they just produce waste of oh, paper? Should have got the paper. Should have got the paper. That's all right. We went the um, whole way round. That was a long this? trip. Oh, it lets you travel to other solar systems. Mm. Cool. Okay. How can we see what the other solar systems are? Um, this one. Oh, right. We can get a. We could go to Uber. Uber. What's happening here? Robots and computers are illegal. Oh. Uber. As are pornos. And uh, secrets. secrets. Right. Sounds like a sketchy place. What about Solemn Major? They don't like weapons or secrets. Right. Hippie system. Okay. Okay. Well, let's try and like get the most out of this system before we Yeah, so it looks like if we build better engines, we can go to further away planets, which might trade other things. Oh, we should research first. Research ring. Okay, no, that's cool. Wow, I'm excited. Okay. Right, so what's our thought? What's our plan? I guess we we buy... No one wants to buy the books or the art, and no one wants to buy the wood, right? Does anyone, I mean, does anyone need the wood? Well, no one's desperate for them, but someone will buy them. Who, no, but who will buy them? Who's, who's, who needs wood? I don't think anyone needs Someone must need wood. Surely. There's an over and a bun Don't overabundance. Call me surely. Ah. Okay, so we can take the wood back to back there. to where we started. And pick up what? So this is good. We can basically we can take wood to here to and then bring paper that. back. Okay. And we could just cycle that for a bit, the old wood paper run. Sounds very safe. I mean it makes us space paper boys. No, I think we can go wood to here to Heine with and go to that place and pick up seeds. Yeah. And then take the seeds back. Do they want seeds here? Yeah, to grow the trees. Okay, so it's the wood, paper, seeds. Yeah. Bermuda Triangle. Don't, oh no, seeds are banned. <laughs> Don't say seeds in chat, you get banned. We need to unban the word seeds, because we've used that a lot. It is unbanned, it's unbanned. Is this our other quest? Yeah. How What's, do I get what my is our other quest? Back? Yeah. So, I can't remember how to find them. Um, so, what's the quest thing on the left? Um, on the, one of the node, one of the drop downs. Finances, research, missions. Uh huh. Okay, so our quest mission is we've got a sealed container with an unknown contents. We have to get used to planet traders <coughs> and learn how to make profit through trading. Okay. So we've got like a 15 day sort of before the story kicks in. Okay. And we also need to get more tools than we can ever afford. Yeah, we're never going to be able to do that, are we? Fail yeah. penalty, 10,000 credits, though. Shit, we should have shouldn't have taken that on straight away. We've got 20 days remaining. Okay, we're going to have to try and get hold of 34 tools and take them to Swoin. I, I think we can only... we only got 12 cargo space. Oh, fuck. Well, we'll let the timer run out. Well, yeah. maybe, we'll, maybe we'll get a lot of money between Who them. Who knows? Um, so we actually, we need, if we're going to pass that quest, we need to get some big paying, big paying quests. Um, we should try and kill this guy, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Because we've got a weapon room armor and ammo and skill. And it's not hard. It's like the easiest one. Sure. And it's quite low paying. So it should be quite easy. And then we find out how combat works. And then what's that one about? Oh, sorry. Uh, High Nuba, uh, 30. We can't do that too many. Force of fun. What's force of fun? Nine iron to High Nuba. We can probably do that. Is Although everywhere's, everywhere around here is desperate for iron. Is so there an iron really smeltery? Cheap. No. Nowhere him makes iron. Just right. everywhere imports it. That sucks. Everywhere needs it. Yeah. Everyone's hungry for iron because it's all robots. Literally space every factories. single place wants iron apart from Congenium. Seed world. Yeah. All right. Okay, well, let's go let's back go to here. Hainu, but yeah, it's good. We to may as well buy something while we're here. We'll buy the wood. Yeah, we've got to buy the wood. That's uh, right. We've got max out on wood. How much is iron here? Yeah, it's really expensive. Yeah, don't do that. Oh, we could we could still get it just to fulfill that contract. Don't do it though, because here's the only place not to buy it, because here's where they need it. There's well, one every, place that no, no, one place doesn't need it. The oh, seeds okay. place doesn't need it. So we'll just buy two thousand eight hundred pound of wood. Um, Maybe we need another cargo bay. Yeah, I think we do. Can and we get another cargo goes. bay? Can we get one here? Because there is a shipyard here. Can we rename our ship too? And facilities. Cargo bay. Want to fill the last two slots? Yeah, absolutely. Put one in here. And uh, it takes me a while to remember how to, how to play this. Uh, well, put the snack machine upstairs. 
Sure. And then put in another card. I like having everything lined up neatly. Because... What are I'm, you doing I'm, here? I don't this know. Is so spazzy. I'm spazzing out a bit, pressing the wrong buttons. Here we go. Okay. Now we can rename our ship. What do you want to call it? The Space Penis. 5,000. 50. No, 69. Space Penis 6969. You can go Space Penis 5,000. That's Steve's Xbox game attack. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> um, and the uniforms, I like. I like white. Cool. We're off. More, more, we need to buy more wood before we go. That's oh. why we built those new oh, cargo right. bays. All oh, right. Wood. Give, give wood. Okay. There we go. So now we can hold twenty-four. Yeah. Which still isn't enough to deliver the tools quest for the tool quest, but no, I don't, we could get rid of our passenger rooms. Do we, can we take passengers? Yeah, well, I thought I got some because I thought we might have quests where we need to take passengers. Right. Um, but well, we'll you see. just want to be a cargo hauler instead. Well, we'll see, won't we? We might as well keep them for now. All right. Well, we could we could sell one, put in more cargo space and take more wood. I do like wood. Okay. You got it, man. We're going to be wood boys. 30 wood. Okay, so one more cargo space. Well, I think we should still keep one passenger space for quests. Yeah, I agree. So we go back? Yeah, that's where we're going. Hi, Nuba. Hi, Nuba. Thank you, Zatharos. I think he's a member of the team. Oh, no, Zamwaith is a member of the team. Um, Ginge, hey, you sexy ladies. Thank you very much. Uh, Lewis, would you like to give me an official stocking fillers challenge? What counts as ticking off a game on our list for hardcore mode, etc.? Well, hmm. for... Softcore mode, you just need to boot the game up and get achieve. But not achieve that you get instantly. Instantly. If it, like, if it gives it to you on boot, you should probably try and do at least one more. Um, then the... So that's the softcore. That's easy. That's fun. That's easy mode. The hardcore challenge mode is you have to complete the games. Now, it doesn't mean 100%. It just mm -hmm. means play the game. Complete main quest line. Complete the main quest line or complete all the available missions or... Um, and that, this only applies to games that are not like an MMO arena brawler or something yeah. like that. If it's an MMO, you need to get the get to max level. I think that's that's a lot. That is a long time, but yeah, that's what that's, you have to do. Wow, that is hardcore mode. Well, that's what you have to do for the MMOs. Oh, that's tough. No, I don't think that's a good idea actually. MMOs are really bad. I don't that's know. I, I feel like MMOs shouldn't necessarily count. Anything that's free to play. Yeah. Or... You don't have to complete. But some of the games are going to be harder than others, right? Yeah, of course. You know, like, some games are only going to take, like, three hours, and some will take, like, 30 hours. I also think maybe for the Hardcore Challenge, you're allowed, like, a credit, right? You're allowed, like, to skip one that's, like, bullshit. Yeah. Well, if you're just not into it, you yeah. know? I feel like this is going to take me ages. And I'm not. It's not, not for me. You basically, have to, kind of you basically have to feel a sense of completion in the game, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's that's the rule really, right, for the for the hardcore. So this is this is for people who wanna take the the, the stocking fillers challenge, which is what me and Ben are doing. We're doing the soft core stocking fillers challenge where we're playing all the games and we're trying to get achieved in each one. Yeah. Or at least feel like we, we know the game, right? So it's almost like My mouse is stuck. It's weird. Have, like it's like I'm holding down the button, but I'm not. Just 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 go onto the bottom of the mouse and turn it on and off. Still doing it. Just click. Clicking. Click off this and something else. But now I'm stuck on this one. I've got sticky menus. What is this? This is why I was spazzing out earlier. Because it's like, it's like I'm holding down the thing. Oh, so annoying. So this one works. Oh, this no. one works. It's the game, Steve. It's not the. It's not the actual mouse, Steve. It's, relax. Oh, it's, it's, just, me, it's just this it's making menu. me stressed. I can't sell my wood. Oh, right. Ah, what did you do, Steve? Oh, no. It's, it's not. Steve did not help. Steve unplugged it for a second. Hmm. I think just save it and restart. It's probably just a, just a, graph, a, weird just a, glitch. a glitch. You uh, get this sometimes. Okay. Oh, sorry, guys. That's all right. Might need to restart the whole game. Might do. Um, 
Yes, so uh, let me know, Jin, how you getting on with that. Um, Pal says you're doing an amazing job, guys. Thank you very much. Oh. Is anyone going to send us any of their stories? Maybe they are. Just a demagogue says what you guys do every year is inspirational. Thank you very much. Oh, man. Full nice star, like thank you very much. Oh, here we go. Mr. Punctual. I had a dream where the... Oh, God. This is literally what he said. Yeah. I had a dream where the was a spinning brick in the sky with rainbows in the background. I woke up thinking seriously that someone had drugged me. So he meant we're there. So uh, he, he had okay. a dream where there was a spinning brick in the sky with rainbows in the background. Oh, okay. That's, That's like some LSD trip. Yeah, because so, yeah. Yeah. normally dreams are a bit more story-based, aren't they? Um, when I was young, my best friend had a dream that I'd went to her house and ate all of her food. <laughs> she was angry at me all day. <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching, Claudia, thank you. Well, Nina, thank you for that amazing message. Um, that is exactly the kind of thing I wanted to hear from you guys. <laughs> uh, Ingmarins. Oh, I remember Ingmarins. He says, uh, missed the last stream, um, but here's my message from that one. Yeah. I went to Andres Pompos Riga Primary School, number 11. No one famous I know from there. Okay. I also went to Riga State Gymnasium, number one. All sorts of people there in my time, but no one famous. Oh. So, he's, so he doesn't know anyone from his so school either. he's donated us $60, very generous, to tell us that they didn't know anyone famous at school. Um, however, I worked for two years at a store and served Gertz Kesteris at my till on two separate occasions. Who is Git Kisteris? Well, if he has a Wikipedia page, we're all about to find out then, aren't we? Um, oh, shit. I've had a message on the old uh, Triforce WhatsApp group. Uh, it says here... Uh, oh. Chris, it's Chris Lov Lovitz. Lovitz. Yo, Lewis. Thanks for the Christmas presents that just arrived. Well, there you go. I'm glad he got them. I only sent those Aww. yesterday. That's nice. They got to Jersey in a fucking day. Yeah, this close to Christmas. I know. Madness. Yeah. That's crazy. Ah, yeah. look, this is the guy I need to kill. Oh, let's do it. Um, I'm a natural born gamer until I lose a session. Right. He cheated at a game and now his opponent wants him. This is like that guy who got stabbed over a sword in WoW, right? You hear about that? Mm, was it WoW or was it some other game? I think it was WoW. Like, they did a trade, but they didn't. They cheated them on the trade. Gertz Kosteris, here he is. He's a Latvian actor. Oh, cool. He's employed by the Valmiera Drama Theatre. In 1994, he won the Spell Manu Nacht Garda Actiris Award for Best Actor. So, the, one of the, you know, a pretty famous Latvian actor. Okay, cool. Here we go. Served found... him twice. Yeah, there you go. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's exactly the kind of thing we wanted to hear. Igmarins, thank you. Oh, so um, hang on a second. You're fucking. I'm fighting the guy. This is the mic, the quest. He's got quite a big ship. Beat up the space oh, pirate. That's, that's us. Someone Our get, ship's big. Get on the guns. Oh, shit, we do it over a gunner. How do I. Oh, my God. I should have really looked about how to do this before trying to do this. Pause it. I don't even know how to pause it. Oh, He's we're firing. Us. Oh, my God. Um. Do you need to assign someone to gunnery? Yes. Because he's eating currently. Zamway <laughs> is currently Zamway? eating. Zamway? What the fuck, dude? How do I change it? Not by clicking on him. Well, obviously. Um, tasks. In battle. Don't do cleaning. I think that's his only available thing. Oh, shit. So we've gone we into combat with no one who knows how to shoot the guns. That's correct. We need to get out of here. Oh, shit. Okay, abort. Um... Where do we want to go to then? Uh, back to um, back to hot. No, 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 back not there. Back to the so the the seed planet. But I've already filled up with paper. Oh, the the, the wood planet then. Hi, Nuba. They, no, because it's orbited around. It. But Hostoria wants wants paper, doesn't it? Are you sure that's the one? Yeah, they want paper okay. for the artists. Okay, it is that one then. Okay, let's um, jump to hyperspace. You're currently in a space fight. How do I get out of a space fight? I don't know. I don't think we can. Can I phone them up? Hailing. Uh, even odd so far. Why don't we consider this? Why don't we consider to settle this like civilized beings? Oh, they want money. Um. Shit. All right, we we have to. Can we give them less money? Maybe a, a little five hundos, four hundos. How about this? 
Fine. Um, I'd really like to like your offer. Shit. Come on, come back! Come back on the phone! Um, it's gonna be more now. Just, just accept it, for Christ's sake. So we just, th this feels bad. Well, we didn't know what we were doing. Like, we've just chased them down and said, Oi! You! I'm gonna kill you! And then they've shot us, and we've gone, Oh no! <laughs> Take my money, I'm sorry! Well, we didn't know that Zanway couldn't fly, do anything other than eat and sleep. <laughs> Fucking Zanway. We should have bought a gunner. <laughs> yeah. Didn't know we needed a gunner. I thought anyone could shoot a gun. We're very naive. Yeah. What happens if we fight? Can we abandon our mission now we don't have any money? Or are we going to go into minus money? Do you know what I mean? Oh, good point. Should we find out? Yeah. Because we're never going to No, do but we that can't afford to go to minus money because then we won't be able to buy new, um, like new goods to trade. Whenever well, no, we're going to sell the wood, aren't we? Oh, you're right. Okay. Missions. So we're definitely not going to do the tools, are we? How long do we have, Ethan? Um, ten days. We're now in minus money. Well, you do go into minus money. Okay, lessons learned. Lessons learned. It's all valuable learning experience. Okay, now we're going to sell that, sell wood. that stuff. And hopefully, we'll be okay. Sell the paper. The wood. Paper for artists. No. Yeah, ten grand. Oh, so we've made three grand profit on that. Yes, you're right. We were selling. Look, we're back in the black. So I thought we bought wood. Did you sell the wood? I while sold I was the wood for paper chat? while you were okay. reading donations. All right, and now you're selling that. Okay, good. You know what you're doing. Uh, Thank but God. We're going to have to buy a gunner, aren't we? And we're going to have to repair the hull. How much does the hull repair cost? A thousand. Sure. Clean the rooms. Repair the rooms. Room maintenance. Four grand of room maintenance. Look, all the lights are flickering. We need to hire like a guy who can clean our ship and fix our ship. I thought that's what the cleaner did. He cleans it. It isn't. Uh, let's repair the engines. That's super less that needs fixing. We can't spend all our money, or else we're not going to be able to buy anything to keep going. Fuck. Well, we need engines to keep going. No, but you can't waste all of that. You just wasted like half of our money on stuff that we can't afford to. On f stopping our ship from. Yeah, but exploding. we're only going to be able to buy like one or two things now to trade. Well, we need a ship. What? Well, no, but we don't. It, and if we don't have the money, <laughs> well, like you know what it's like if we can't fill up our hold now. Yeah. Bad, isn't it? But there's nothing we can buy here that we want. I can Look see. at tobacco, literally a pile of cigarettes. <laughs> John, should we, should we sell cigarettes? To who? Afford it? Someone who wants cigarettes? By four. four. It's not good. It's not great, is it? This feels We're bad. Not in a great situation. Um. Oh, we fucked up. We have fucked up. Who needs cigarettes? How about we More go? Food. How about we hire a guy, a gunner? These, these guys want food. All right. Over here. Food and tobacco. Okay. Let's buy food and tobacco. And we can buy like one food. Food is four hundred a pop. Buy six food. What do you think is gonna have that? Surely tobacco makes more. Let's profit. sell some. Sell some of the stuff on our ship. Oh, that feels bad. Well, the passenger seats. Well, if we're not gonna use the gunnery, we might as well sell that and sell all this crap. Do you know what I mean? But we're going to buy a gunner once we've got some money. Well, if we're going to buy a gunner, we should just buy a gunner and do the gunning mission right now. We can't. We've failed it. Is it abandoned? Yeah, it's abandoned. Um, You're right. Any, any other easy horrible. jobs? We've got the, this guy. Um, he wants us to kill someone. Okay, let's do it. Let's hire a gunner. And we'll get into a fight and win. Pilot, medic. Repairer. We do need a repairer. Um... Cook and shooter. Cook. Mm. He's the only one. And he's really expensive because he's level three. But, but we can afford him. But though we're paying for skills we're not using. That's true because we don't have a kitchen. I mean, I guess eventually we will, and we do want our gunner to be able to do something else when we're not fighting. Right? What's you scout down at the bottom? Uh, I think we can pay money to look for specific people. Right. Yeah, we can. Oh, I see. We can post a job offer for a specific a shit shooter, but it's expensive. I see. So the people, different people, come available. Sports any sport? Isaac Svoboda. Increased need for fitness. Hmm. Gonna want a gym on the ship. Hmm. Frustrating. 
We fucked up, Ben. We fucked up quite a lot. I kind of want to start again. So do I. But we don't really have time. I feel like we should just move on to the next game. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think we, we understood a... what we were doing. We balled this up We've... in a major way. Yeah, because we failed two missions that we shouldn't have taken. Um, and that's lost all of our money. We didn't realize we needed a shooter. I assumed that someone would be able to do that. But people's yeah. jobs are very specific. But no one... Yeah, it's because in the first planet there was no one who had the shooting skill. So we didn't know it was Maybe we skill. should have had a bigger crew as well. Maybe we should have just not built the, the shooty stuff. Yeah, we shouldn't have built the shooty stuff if we weren't going to have a shooter. Yeah. Oh, well. Could have just been a cargo board. We've learned. I think, we I can, think you want to specialise, I think we can you? start again. Look, we can start again. I'm enjoying this. Yeah, me too. I want to start again, but should we go for a dedicated cargo hauler? Yeah. And not, not fuck around too much. The space penis 5000 is... You were, you were a good tutorial. Is, is gone. But we now know what we're doing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Dr. Dogmeat says, Rubber Dub a Dub, thanks for the games. Ah, oh, Rubber Dub Dub. Rubber Dub Dub. He's not doing the Rick and Morty thing. Wubba Lubba 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 Dub Dub. He's not doing no, that. He's, doing he's that. saying Rubber Dub Dub. No, because his IQ is not high enough, right? That's right, because only people who are very smart understand <laughs> Rick and Morty. <laughs> well, how, who, oh, how did that even become a thing? I don't know. It's so weird. <laughs> right, what's our new ship called? The. The the, the 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 space penis five thousand and one. No, sixty nine, sixty nine, sixty nine, sixty nine. Okay, there were a lot of failed four, space penises. Four twenty, four twenty blazer. Sure. You can't four. fit that in. Got it. And we'll have a nice different new color scheme. Of okay, what do you want? Pink. Your pink. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I, I'm not good at this. Um, there you go. Nice. Perfect. Perfect. Pink. Pink and... Oh, achieve! We've got achieve. Bad <laughs> taste. Bad taste. <laughs> Fuck you, game. <laughs> Customise a ship with an exotic <laughs> color set. Well, that's achieve done, it's so we can us. move on. <laughs> it's true. Mm. Yeah, I'll leave it like that. Um, that's fine. Um, right, and then do we just want to be cargo boys, right? That's the plan. I think so. So yeah. we need um, we need a place for our crew. Um, up upstairs, and they need a snack machine, or well, they'll just get really hungry. Um, I need a toilet. And then they'll be made a toilet. Yeah. Um, we'll stick that down there. Right, and then there's just the rest cargo space, right? Yeah, pretty much. And then so we want a bigger cargo hall. Upgrade to a bigger cargo we'll space at some we'll point. Search the better ones. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we just literally like blam, 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 blam. That's 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 not good. Let's not over, go overboard. No. Why not? Because that's way too many. We need other things. What do we we need? are gonna need other things, like a science fucking bay. All right. To actually research science. So we'll do the whole lower deck. And then. I think that. that much? I think as long as we got like thirty six, that's enough. 36 will be enough because even the, the highest one that we couldn't do like the tier 2 yeah. trading was well, that, like 32 that is, that is 36 that's perfect let's do that okay. and then that science lab will, might be needed at some point um, and then we might want to eventually upgrade our ship size but maybe we can upgrade our ship size before this, then get the science lab do you know what I mean mm. like we'll upgrade the ship first so we'll haul until we get an upgraded ship then we'll put and the science then we'll lab, the lab on the new ship that makes sense okay so where are we today we are, are we in the same place? High Nuba. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Okay. So we'll, make, we'll buy the paper and we'll see what missions there are. What are the missions? Uh, that the one tools. that we don't want to do. Okay. Uh, four, four passengers. Can't do that. Twelve passengers. Can't do that. Five units of medicine. Right. Uh, there's three here. We could go find some more. Mm. Or, they, or we just go look, we just buy loads of paper and buy and look for better quests. Yeah. Ooh, jeez, that's expensive. Okay, let's buy some crew first before I spend all the money on paper. So we need a pilot. There's her. Oh, well, we got her before, yeah. There's like, two pilots today. There's this guy, Mustachio Man. Craig he Ryan. Likes, he likes bread. Sure. Um, and there's her who likes plants. But since we've only got a shit snack machine, Liking carbs is probably good. Okay, let's hire the bread 
He looks ill as well. Oh yeah, because he gets bread all the time. Oh, now we can deliver the. Um, That's the tutorial quest. Sure. Quest. Sure. Um, and then, do we want a repairer instead of a cleaner? Because then we're not going to have to pay to repair our ship. Like but we only took repair damage because we got in a fight. Also, he's an overeater. That's true. Okay. Should we get this guy? He also likes carbs, and he'll keep the ship clean. Yeah, sure. Let's let's, let's have Sam Wraith. I, I like him. He's, he's so happy. He's on fire. He was on fire that time. Yeah. Um, okay, and then we'll just spend the rest of our money on paper. Yeah. Bam. Cool. Okay, and then we'll go deliver the paper and the carbonate. It's a swine. It's a swine. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, this is it. We're doing it. We're doing it so much. This better is a hundred time. times better already. Like just from like literally two minutes. We were so bad. We couldn't have messed up more. We just wasted honestly. so much money. Uh, Nick says, "Loving Lewis and Ben save the world. Keep the videos coming." I met Lewis at October Comic Con where he pretend, pretended like he knew me. Silly boy, keep jingling the jam. Thank you, Nick. I don't know. Sometimes I. I recognise people, but yeah. sometimes all the faces just blur into one. It's tricky, isn't it? Because when you go to a con, you like, you meet so many people. You meet hundreds of people. I do feel like I recognise a lot of people, but also I also feel like really I probably don't. I probably don't. I probably don't. <laughs> Sorry, I just noticed it said he was taking a dump. Taking a dump. Taking, they take the dumps a lot, don't they? I guess a lot of use. use. Oh, and then he's cleaning, cleaning up the dumps. Look at all this. Look at all this paper. Racks and racks and racks. Full up with paper. We're like, um, what's that, what's that company Scr in Scranton? Scranton? Yeah. What's Scranton? They were the office, they sell paper. Oh, you know? yeah, in Slough. No, in the, the American one. Oh. I've never watched the American one. It's in Scranton. That's the town. Is that the American equivalent of Slough? Slough, yeah, I think so. Jeez. Um, right, I'm selling the paper, we're making two and a half grand. And we got the 10 grand for delivering the carbonate. See, this is it. This is how you this do it. Happening. This is how you make bank. Uh, right, what quests have we got? Um, ten medicines. Uh, kill a guy. Kill a guy. Um, nine Uber iron. Iron to high nuba. Or thirty textiles. textiles we could probably. Oh no, that's high difficulty. Textiles must be expensive. Right. Getting enough money to buy thirty of them must be. Where are they hard. being made? Um, There was a place that was making them, right? Yeah. There. Uh, uh. Should we go? It can't be that expensive. Should we go and find out how much they cost? Yeah, let's take the quests. And we'll take. Uh, well, no, because if we f let's find out how much they cost, we can come back and take the quests. Because if we take need... the quest and they can't complete it, we lose like seven grand. They need. They need medicine, seeds, fertilizer, and water. Scroll down. Or iron and tools, but I think everyone needs iron. And what does Frolic sell? Do they sell seeds? No, they need seeds as well. And they also do textiles. Do they do the same thing? Oh, no. These, oh, no. Sorry, these right. guys do seeds. Okay. Uh, they won't. They make the seeds, and these guys use the seeds. Mm. Seems easy enough. What's been sold where we are? Sorry. It's tricky, um, isn't it? Like, yeah, so it's hard to remember. This place does books and art and wood. Kind of crap. Here. What's kind on crap. the way? What's, what are I pooed? What, what's... Uh, they just make waste. And crap. This place makes. Oh, this place makes textiles. They want this basically the same stuff as swine. Hmm. We need to get out of this system, really. Everywhere needs all the same shit. It is not helpful to have the same places need the same shit. I guess they don't mind taking the wood back. You know, we can take the wood back to Hainuba, then head up to. Congenium to get the seeds. It's going to take four days to just like find out how much textiles cost. Which is kind of annoying. I think we can take it. I think what we do is we'll go, we'll take the wood back to Hainuba. Mm -hmm. We'll buy something at Hain We'll fly from Hainuba, get the seeds at Congenium and take the seeds. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Are we full? No. No, no they're out ran, of wood. They ran out of wood. Do we want to... Is there anything else these guys export? I, mean, I don't want we to can, sit on art. We can books. bring some art and just sell it because oh no, can't we, we just sell it anywhere? Or does only only certain places buy it? I think we'll sell it, but we just might not make a profit. Do you want to speculate? Well, I like just one book and then just see if we can actually sell it somewhere that doesn't 
necessarily so, buy it. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, and just see what the price is like. Okay. Because we might not be able to get rid of it. I think you can sell anything anywhere. They just won't, won't give you a great price. Right. But will it be better than the price where they're making it? Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. We'll find out. Uh, thank you, Nick. Thank you, Swift Swag YouTube. Ben is a beautiful Ooh. shark. Oh, thank you. I, I really shit. like my my Gary's one player model. Steven's working on a Warhammer table for us. Oh. This is the Instagram picture so far. Oh my wow. god. Wow. Serious business. It's fucking massive. I to be honest, I was expecting something with less effort. That looks pretty that cool. That looks fucking cool as cool AF. Yeah. Send us a uh, send us a pic when it's keep, done. Keep updating us, Steve. And um Steven. And when it's done, um, yeah, you should you should pop by the office and we'll we'll, we'll get that bad boy set up. Green Aura says, um, thank you for all the great things throughout the years. Met my partner through the Dwarven Dairy Drive 2013 oh, and now we watch you guys together cool. every day. Oh my God. Thank you so much, Green Aura. Oh, that's a nice message. So where's that book? Uh, it's here. See, that is more than we bought oh, yeah, it for. Oh yeah, look, we make 300 bucks. We bought it for 700, sold it for 1,000. So anywhere we'll buy the books. And it'll be more than it's worth. It's just whether it's worth the time. Right. To make the trip. But it's definitely a profit. Oh shit, look, Zamblaith is sick. Oh dear. The ship's gonna get. How do we help him get better? Um, I guess I just take him off. Just let him rest. No, is there, like, do we need medicine or something? Do you mean? I don't know. Find out. I mean, if we buy like a ton of medicine, it doesn't make I doubt sense, it. Is it. Yeah, I, I think he'll just he'll he'll be alright. He'll be okay. Right. Um, right. So we're looking for quests. We want we want better quests. Um, can't do the tools one. Did you take the textiles one? No, I didn't because I didn't want to. I want to find out how much those textiles cost because I didn't want to take the like eight grand fucking it up fee. So I have got loads of money now though. We're doing great as we are. Yeah. And what do we buy here? This is our starting world. We buy paper. We can buy paper, yeah. Oh, no, they haven't restocked their paper since last time. Oh, I see. Oh, they, they have, they yeah. Have. Yeah, they have. Bam. We can also buy something else they produce. Iron. No, they don't produce oh, iron. Oh, no, no. They, they import iron. What else do they produce? Uh, see. Waste, and that's it. Mm. So now we go to the planet that makes textiles. Uh, shit. This one. Yeah. Yeah. Go to here. We give them the paper. We check out the textiles. Yeah. Or we take some tobacco and then we buy the tobacco and take the tobacco to the, and the food to the... Perfect. Look, it's weird. Like, the ship is so slow compared to the planet's orbits that it's quicker for us to just, like, fly to here and wait for the planet to come to us. Oh, really? Look, look at the difference in speed. That's amazing. Um, Major says, long time viewer, first time today, sir. Um, wait. Wrong charity stream. Oh no, I think you don't throw it on my friend. Uh, my, more Lewis and Ben, more, sorry, more Ben and Tom Jerkoffs is all I want for Christmas. You and Tom. We haven't done a want. jerk off stream for a long time actually. No, it's kind of more of a like filler when we need. Um, yeah, when literally no one else can do it. Oh god, all these ships converging on Hostia. I know. Hopefully none of them are coming to get us. Um, no, I think we're safe. Okay. okay. So um, let's sell that paper first up. Boom. Uh, right, textiles. Sure, done. So textiles are 500 a pop. So 36 of them will be maxed out to any 3,000. Okay, so and how many was the quest for? 30 something. We can't take the quest now, it's gone though. You see what I mean? Uh, it'll still be there, I think. Will it? Yeah, I don't think they refresh immediately. But we'll see what other quests are here while we're here. Um. So that needs a passenger. We don't have a passenger slot. Um, that <laughs> is... I knew but want some water. There's a fire going on. Oh, shit. Well, we're too late. <laughs> we spent all our money. These guys want wine. Um, there's a fight going on. And um, another fight. So we can't do any of these. Let's just go to Swine with our, with our textiles. Is that the idea? Try and pick up that quest. Okay. That's the dream. 
All right, you got it. Uh, uh, Alex, oh no. Eve, thank you very much. Someone has broken into our ship. Discovered the loss of some very intimate belongings. Bad mood for a while. Um, Zam's voice is sad. Someone's taken his ship. Well, get over it, mate. Aww. Actually, you need to get back to work, Zamwife. You're um, you're just having a free ride here. How do I? Put him back on work duty. Thank you, Alex Eve. Thank you to Troy from Melbourne. Thank you, Ooh. Thuna. Thank you to Patrick V, who's donated to charity. Uh, Jingle Jam Cherry. Gabriel Miles says, finally got paid yesterday, so now I can actually donate to this outstanding event. Oh, amazing. Thank you very much indeed. Um, Simon Sappy Trial, next year's adventure. Defeat the evil Twitch Terms of Service wizard and just captive Ginger Curlies. Hashtag rules down, shirts up. I don't know what that means. I don't know. What does that mean? Is that a Simon thing? I've missed that completely. Yeah, you that's understand gone what right over my about. head. Um, oh, we found a thing. Scan has picked up a probe drifting nearby. I'm going to open it. Oh. oh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you would, though, wouldn't you? You're just cruising around in space. It was an alien. In cargo. It's like a slowly... Mantis jumps out and eats your face. Sink, loving this year's Jingle Jam. Thank you very much. Uh, Io Dinosaur says, I used to have a recurring nightmare where I was in a coliseum. Where oh, the yeah. floor was like the roof of a circus tent. It would spin faster and faster. Eventually, I'd wake up and it would feel like everything was moving to my heartbeat. Wow, oh. that sounds like an actual terror. That sounds terrifying. Um, Zach Spock says, I had a dream that my father was a necromancer. Ooh. Who was using people's past lives for some sort of currency that summoned demons. Also, we all had leprosy and my face was rotting. Oh, God, geez. that sounds That's very awful. specific. Um, oh my gosh, what was that? What's, what's, what a terrifying nightmare. Uh, Ingmarins says, um, can you say, Sis Zagaru Saiskis Navman Zagaru Saiskis for old time's sake? When me and Nula, Be Ni uh, Nula B. Vinalga 5000 both donated that at the same time. Oh. The idea was to have a hundo total, but I depend, but I end, I, I think I ended up Forgetting to mention that Andres Pumpos was the author of the Latvian epic Lac Plesis. Man, these Latvian it's guys are very, it's very hard to pronounce, but also they're very um, up on their Latvian culture, right? They've got a lot yeah. of... Well, of course they know their own culture. No, but like like very much so. But also kind of expecting us to know it in a, in a little bit, you know? Well, we expect like, them to know ours, don't we? We just talk about our shit all the time and assume true. people I'm know sorry. what we're talking about. I'm sorry. I think that's a pretty standard issue. Like, I, I guess they're not as aware that... They don't know that Andres we don't know any of this stuff. But, I'm, I'm but, but they're asking me to say stuff, but I'm butchering their language. Yeah, because we're I do so it. unfamiliar I'm with so it. I'm so sorry I'm ruining your at all. beautiful... Stuff. I feel like me reading out like this l epic thing is. I don't know. Just not, not, not. N it's not. It's not good. Feel the fabrics. What? Yeah, we did it. While you were reading out donations, I delivered the fabric quest. No way. I fucking did it. Look at this. We got thirty-five thousand bucks. Holy crap, Ben. Um, it's nailing it. Well, this is this is. But I think the ship needs a tune-up. Look, the engines it on does. fire. The bogs on. Look, the toilet's going. So we do need to repair the rooms. Yes, Maybe hire, four, let's four hire grand. a repair boy. Yeah. Do we, do we need another um, sleepy room or should we hop? hop How many people could? Well, we've got two beds, but if we put them on alternate shift patterns. Yeah, that's fine. We can that do should that. should be fine, shouldn't it? Yeah. Um, right, who's a cleaner? Oh, repairer. He's a game, Ooh. she's a gamer and an aesthetic. What does that mean? Uh, gamer is increasing for entertainment. Oh dear, what's the next more one? XP. Aesthetic. Decreased, decreased need for entertainment, entertainment and fitness. Um, so this kind of cancels each other out. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, she eats um, She eats bread as well, which is ideal. I, I think we should get her. Okay. I think take her on, yeah. I would. It's quite expensive, but if she stops us having to pay um, repair bills, that's pretty good. Yeah, if she keeps it, keeps it tidy. Um, so I'm going to put you on alternate shifts. Okay. Um, cool. I think we've got a nice little crew. We've got a nice little ship. Should we upgrade it? Should we? Or do you just want to get enough money to get the, a bigger ship? We should ship? probably... 
Do we want to start by repairing, or shall we, do we expect her to repair stuff? Do you see what I mean? Yeah, maybe she should just start repairing it. Okay. As we go. Rather than us how, paying for the repairs. How broken are they? Well, the toilet is on fire, Ben. So, I mean, I assume that's pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'll repair the engines. She can sort the rest out. Because um, right. otherwise, it's like you cleaning up for your cleaner. What's the oh, point? What's the point of hiring a mechanic and then paying someone else to fix everything? You're not wrong. Um... Darren, Zach mm. McLaren says, Hey, Lewis Pierce, been a fan since the start of the old pod. Thank you very much. Um, Neutron Kate says, I once dreamt that I was laying in bed unable to sleep. <laughs> but, but wow. wow. It's like, don't know what to say. <laughs> Sleepception. Uh, Robin says, Love what you guys are doing. Thank you very much. Um, Sandshu Samurai says, Thank you for all this amazing charity work. Can we take a moment to appreciate how crazy that number is? That is a lot of money. It is a huge It is an incredible amount of money. I can't get over it, to be honest, guys. I think it's just so good. So today, um, what's happening today? Oh, today is the fight um, fantasy. Yeah, you're going to finish off the, the adventure? Yeah. Kieran's going to draw fight it. Fantasy adventure. So I might have to leave you for, for in, a, in a little while, Ben, so I can go and get some lunch before we start. Yes. Um, so if I... Or so I can. I, well, I can either have a. Hmm, I want to run over to the market over on Harborside and get something to eat. Yeah, well, we're gonna have like a five-minute break now for a cup of tea. But yeah. I think if, if for like the last half an hour of the stream, you can you can just cover with Xylus and then mm. me and well, and then me and um, Kieran will have to come in here and get set up while sure. we're doing that anyway. Um, and then we're gonna do fi finish off the Final Fantasy book. Hopefully mm. that will be good. Simon's hopefully up for that. And then after that, it's karaoke tonight, isn't it? Terps is... Terps is special. Well, yeah, because I, I think Dave, David's coming back to make cocktails. Well, um, the thing is, like, Terps obviously wasn't here when David came <laughs> so down. So he wants to do it again street. so he can join And it. so Terps is like, well, you know, I missed out on that great fucking night. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't seem right. So I missed, I've missed out on both now. It's the worst. It's well, really that's your timing. own choice, Ben. Uh... <laughs> Sanju Samurai, thank you very much. And uh, Kyle, thank you. I think you. we should have a third one. Cassandra. <laughs> oh, thank oh, you very no. much, Cassandra. These guys don't want the paper. What do you mean? Well, I bought shitloads of paper to sell to these guys, and the price is wrong. We're going to lose money if I sell it here. I've wasted my life. Well, you'll just sell it anyway. You're not going to lose that much. I'm going to lose 2000 it's not very much, is it? Really? But okay. then you can buy the tobacco and the fuel, the tobacco and the food, and take it to the fast food planet. Yeah, but is that better? Yeah, 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 absolutely. You're only going to lose 2,000. It's, but you don't want to hold on to it. Maybe I do, though. Like, if I, like... It'll, it'll cost you 2,000 worth of travel to take it to somewhere it else. It says they wanted paper. Yeah, you're right. It's not worth the five days travel, is I it? I think you've already delivered too much paper to them. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll go sell the paper, then you're right, and then we'll take a break. Yeah, and then they pick up the tobacco. Well, let's see what the quests are, right? Because there might be just a better quest. One Killing. of the reasons I came here was because we haven't looked at the quests that were here. Um, he wants to buy a four-leaf clover from Frolic and bring it to Congenium. It's not very much money, is it? Which is a very strange one. But it means we can do that and load up on goods at the same time. And these guys want seeds, fertilizer, and water to frolic. Right. And is that that's where we are, isn't it? We've got. Oh no. No, we need seeds, water. The prices will be bad. Here. Here. Anyway, let's have a look after. All right, we're going to I go can keep playing this, but we're going to go. Uh, Dylan, thank you. Zirconics, thank you. Um, he says I went to school primary school with the footballer Joey Barton I can't stand that awful prick uh, <laughs> I also went to school with the footballer Kevin Nolan he was okay a bit thick Checking that was supposed to rhyme that donation whether it was supposed to rhyme or not prick and thick we'll find out uh, all right, we'll I think be it's back. a little poem um, Merry Christmas everyone do you like my Fallout jumper it's good isn't it it's oh one, I didn't realise it was one Fallout one of my favourite ones that's a good one yeah um, alright we're going we'll be back in five back minutes back in five minutes enjoy <laughs> 